Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's tutorial is on this cute little crystal spider. Um, I did this yesterday and I had so many requests on where and how I got it, where I got it from, where I did I make it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to make this for you guys so you can see how easy it is and you can make one yourself. I did it because I haven't been doing too many Halloween tutorials and I kind of wanted to do something for Halloween and this is what I came up with. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some wire. I think this one's 20 gauge, the smaller wire. Uh, and you need a pair of pliers, two crystal uh, beads. One's bigger than the other. Uh, a little head pin, and I got a head pin with a little decorative end. You can get these all at Michael's. All of this you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, either one. And you. I like the decorative end because it goes on the back of the spider and it makes it kind of look finished. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your wire and you're going to cut the wire in four pieces about two inches long. So you take it and you just cut four equal pieces and you want it to be a little longer than you think that you need because you can always trim it down. Once you put it on there and you think it's too small you can never add. So always make it just a tad bit bigger than you think you need. So this is a gold wire. You can do a silver wire. Um, the daintier the wire with the daintier beads, the cuter the spider looks. So then you take your head pin and you put your big um, bead on the bottom and the smaller bead on top. And that's the way the body is going to look of the spider. You're going to take your four little pieces of wire, your little dainty little legs, and you're going to kind of group them together in the middle and you're going to be wrapping this wire around the in between the two beads and you just want to wrap this one time because it kind of is bulky and you're going to see as we roll that other end down that's going to create that really pressed in feel where that keeps those spider legs secure and uh, stay put so now you're going to trim off the end of your head pin enough to you're going to make a loop a little loop here this is going to be the top of your charm so you can hook it to wherever you would like and you just make a circle with your little pliers and the more you tighten that down it's going to squeeze those wires in between those two beads and make that very secure you don't want to do too much because if you tighten it too much it'll pop that end off and you'll have to start over again so you know you're just going to have to use it by touch so see that kind of tighten that down and now you're going to bend your little legs kind of up into an angle and you're going to spread them out and these are going to be your f eight little legs on your little baby spider he's so cute I um, was looking kind of online for some spider tutorials and this is kind of a combination of some different ones that I saw some had beads on the legs I didn't really want all of that so there is your finished look and I'm going to trim off the bottom of these little legs to make him a little smaller because it's going to go on my neck and I don't want it too big so sorry it's off camera I did put it back in and trim off just a teeny bit however size you want want your little bitty spider and once you have him all trimmed then you can add a little jump ring on where see where the little loop is at the top you can add a jump ring there and you can attach him to a longer necklace I actually put him on a choker a leather choker that I had made earlier and I think he would be very cute in red all red which I'm gonna do for another person who asked me to make them one so I'm gonna do a red beaded one I think that would be really cute and that's about it. That's all you need to do. This one's loo looped onto my choker. See how you can put the jump ring on there and then add it wherever you like. And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys have a fantastic um, day and a wonderful safe Halloween, which is coming up here tomorrow. And um, here's a couple of different looks. There's my choker on and I did a different, that's the blue and silver one. And then I did the gold one with a little darker kind of goldish bead on top and there's a close-up of the gold one a really cute little easy super easy thanks for watching you guys for more of my DIY you can head over to my blog webisobi.com 
And if, as always, if you like and want to see more, just like and subscribe and you can see all my latest videos. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.